what it is and what it ain't. I'm going to let y'all know what I think. But first, you got to hit that post notification bell button. So, you know, been in the loop every time I drop a new video today. We're going to talk about that boy Afro, man. So, get your popcorn, relax, sit back, and chill out, man. I'm going to give y'all some brand new content. Everybody go look at my affiliate links down below after you watch the video. Make sure y'all go watch some of my previous videos, too. And hit my cash out, man. Promo, M-A-G-P-R-O-M-O. I ain't going to hold y'all up too much longer. Y'all finna get straight down to business. Is everything done? You like, comment, and subscribe? So, let's get it. Yeah, man, we got that boy Afro Man in the news headlines, man. You know what I mean? Look like his house in uh, Ohio just got raided, got kicked in. The police accusing him of having guns of, of mass destruction. And over a hundred thousand dollars worth of pounds of marijuana, man. And you know, he just bought a big piece of land out there, like four or five acres, put a big privacy gate around his property, and he put a big old manufactured home on the land. You know what I mean? And he got some farm barns outside the land. You know, he got the mini ones, then he got the big ones for all his cars and stuff like that. And he got a man-made lake. He went and dug a hole and, you know what I mean, put water in it and threw a whole bunch of catfish in his uh, lake. And, you know, he got all this sitting on like five acres out there in Adams uh, County, Ohio. He got a big white and green house. And, you know, he can do everything now. He can record there. He got a studio there. You know, he got like six or seven cars there. He got his barbecue grill. He cut his own yard. It's like he got everything, man. And he was really coming up because you seen him. He painted the 63, you know, the Lake of Color car. He just bought a big old Cadillac, you know what I mean? 2022, it looked like. And he was doing his thing, man. And. I guess the police got jealous and they came and kicked his dough in when he was out with the famous pimps and players. See, he been on tour. And you know what I mean? The first time his house got raided, the police came in there and stole a whole bunch of money and stuff. You know what I mean? And he couldn't figure out who who, who it was. He had no security cameras. And, you know, he kept calling to the police station and they threatened to arrest him for keep calling. But the truth was... It was the cricket cops that stole his money, you know what I mean? But this time, he caught it all on video because when they uh, raided this time, they kicked the door down and he had cameras on all angles of the property. And he got everything, man, on them cops, man. They came talking they look, about they looking for guns and weapons and stuff like that. And, you know, they had went through his suits, destroyed his house, tore up his bed, you know what I mean? Went over there by studio equipment. They just destroyed this man's whole house, top to bottom. Even when not looking in the cars and stuff. And, you know, he out of town right now. His girlfriend was there in the house, you know what I mean? And she saw everything. And them police did not play, you know what I mean? This all happened up in Ohio. Because you know that's like one of the cheapest places to live right now. You can go buy you a piece of land, go get you about four or five acres out there for probably like two, three grand. And then he bought all that manufacture uh, houses and barns over there and stuff like that with his cars and stuff and set it all up real nice, you know what I mean? And they didn't like it what he was doing, because he kept riding through the town, hitting his hydraulics, you know what I mean, on the 60, 62, you know what I mean, he was just showing up, man, and he had a space uh, to keep all that stuff where he used to be at, he shouldn't have moved up to uh, Ohio, people saying, because the nigga from Palmdale, California, and he used to stay in Hattiesburg, you know what I mean? Mississippi, it's cheap to live down there too. But he done moved all the way to Ohio, where it's even cheaper. He been living up there for a little minute. He got a big fan base up there. 
And you know what I mean? He been getting racial profiled. You know what I mean? And the police came in there this time to steal his money again with the good old boys. But this time they was being filmed. And they didn't come up with nothing, I don't think. But I know if they kick your dough in, boy, you done got a sale charge. You done sold a sum informant, boy. So wherever you at, you need to stay where you at because you got a warrant for your arrest. The police can't just kick your dough in for no reason. You know what I mean? They had to, you had to buy a gun, sell a gun, do something illegal with the police to know with the informant or police. Because if not, you got a lawsuit. You know what I mean? Because I know they ain't really worried about no weed, but I know they'll be worried about a hundred thousand dollars worth of weed. You know what I mean? I know Afro man don't do no little shit, but he looked like he a small scale, but I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have thought that they'll be looking for that much stuff over there, that many pounds of weed and stuff like that. But they got intelligence and they know a lot of things. I've been looking on his Instagram. That's how I found out they kicked his dough off the hinge, just destroyed his bedroom. You know, I went through his studio equipment. They're going to start seizing some of his properties and stuff. You know, some of his property, office property. And probably trying to see is it drug, uh, the come from drug funding or something. But they don't know this man is a uh, professional uh, rapper and stuff. He's a, got a platinum plaque, you know what I mean? He can cover for this shit, but they just thinking he a drug dealer and shit. But they kicked his dough down. It's all white and green house. First time they did it, you know what I mean? They was acting like they didn't know who broke into the house, but it was really them, and they stole the man, all the man, mirror Benilla and stuff like that. But this time he had a female there, and you know what I mean? They kicked it in, he wasn't in there. So you bet. So what you think if he would have been in there, they would have grabbed his ass. He got charges on him, so... He's probably got to do a walkthrough when he get back uh, to Ohio because last I know, he was out there in Chicago. You know what I mean? He just was at the car lot showing off a brand new lot. You know what I mean? That he wanted to buy the SUV. You know what I mean? I know he had that DeVille. He had a whole bunch of cars already. You know what I mean? He was be hanging with uh, Snoop Dogg and uh, Bishop Don Juan and shit like that. So the police probably got jealous because he was doing too much at one time because his cars just got painted and just got back and he just bought a new lot. He keep upgrading. You know what I mean? He had a party with a couple family members over there. You know, he eating good on the grill. People don't like that, man, because Afro man, he deal with a lot of white people, and he black and stuff like that. So, you know, they already think a nigga don't supposed to be around no white people and shit like that. But I think they going to get caught up, these police, man, because they didn't have no business going through every suit. Like, oh, this a nice suit. They trying to check all his shit. You know what I mean? They wasn't worried about the female that was there. In my state, if they kick the dough in, they find some dope in that bitch, whoever in the house going to jail. You know what I mean? Just look like some crooked ass shit. You know, like they hit the house walking around looking for mirror beneath, looking for money, looking for stuff to seize, man. But yeah, they got that man house lit up, dough off the hinges. For what? What's the charge? Selling possession. But they say he had drugs and guns and stuff. I don't know if it was a tip or what one of them raggedy ass bitches he used to fuck with. I don't know if that was his wife or <clears throat> that was in the video in the background. Because I know he is married, but I thought him and the lady broke up or whatever. But I don't know who told on this man. You know what I mean? He be a family man. He be hopping his... Uh, Low riders and shit, you know what I mean? I don't know who told on him, you know, who think he's a big-time drug dealer or whatever, but 
I evidently Adams County do. You know what I mean? Ohio. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this here with uh, that boy Afro, man. He probably got a warrant to take care of when he get back, though. Peace. I'm out.